Welcome back. We have to. We uh, we want to continue from where we ended in our preview. Now we have to prepare two uh, molar sodium hydroxide solution from scratch. This is from the manufacturer. This is sodium hydroxide pellets from the manufacturer. Here we have to prepare a stock solution of two molar a sodium hydroxide solution. In this case, this is solid. This appellate solid. We, what we have to do is we have to measure 80 grams of the sodium, uh, sodium hydroxide appellates. Now we use our balance. On the balance, it's zero zero. So what we need to do is we need to measure eighty grams of the sodium hydroxide pellets. Eighty point one, eighty point one. Okay, this is exactly eighty. This is exactly eighty. This is exactly eighty point one. Eighty point one. Now. We take this What we do is Okay we put it into the beaker. Put in about 500 ml of deionized water. Keep on stirring it using the glass rod. You stir it continuously using the glass rod. Again, again, the reaction is exothermic. Again, the reaction is exothermic because there is evolution of heat. You keep on stirring until all the pellets are dissolved. Keep on stirring until all the pellets are dissolved.
lot of torsion should be taken. Heat is being generated. As I earlier said, this is also an exothermic reaction. Consumption should also be taken because it is also corrosive, even though it is mild. So a lot of precaution will be taken in the course of doing it. The sodium hydroxide pellets are all dissolved. So now we have to put it into the volumetric flask. Make sure any bit of the sodium hydroxide gets into the volumetric flask. Now we put in the dissolved sodium hydroxide into the volumetric flask with a lot of caution because it is also corrosive. Every bead, or bead, we have to rinse the beaker to ensure that all of the sodium hydroxide gets into this flask. Now, we need to fill up this to the 1000 ml mark. This is the mark. We have to fill it up to this mark here. The mark here, we have to fill it up to this mark. So what do we do? What we do is we need to fill it with more of the deionized water. This time you have to be very careful. We need to use the dropping pipette to fill it fully. Excellent. Now we have our we now have our solution. This is a solution of two molar sodium hydroxide. Uh, that has been prepared from sodium hydroxide pellets. Now we can now level it as two molar, or you can write it two mole per dm cube. You can say two mole or what we call. 2.0 molar
sodium hydroxide. We can now level it as two mole per dm cube, two mole per dm cube, or two molar sodium hydroxide solution. And uh, we put it again in the fume cupboard, again in the fume cupboard, and uh, preserve it for other experiments that will be uh, carried out in the lab. And then we we'll put it up. It's okay. A recap sodium hydroxide uh, solution can be prepared from scratch from the manufacturer's product. I said one, you need to measure for two molar a sodium hydroxide um, uh, solution. You need to measure from based on our calculation, you need to measure 80 grams. You need to measure 80 grams of the sodium hydroxide pellets and uh, we use a balance in doing it. Then we dissolve it in about 500 ml um, uh, deionized water until it is fully dissolved. Then you put it into the volumetric flask. Make sure all the solutions here get the solution here get into the volumetric flask by raising it. Finally, you fill it using the deionized water to the mark and you level it and put it in a few cupboard for subsequent lab activities. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Once more, visit my channel.